Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of Fall of Saigon 1972-75. This is an expansion to Fire in the Lake, the coin game from Mark Herman and Volko Runke. Uh, this is uh, from, obviously from GMT Games. Um, and again, this is an expansion. You will need the base game of Fire in the Lake. Uh, but of course, the coin games are always uh, solo friendly because they, they come with bots that run the AI or some people just play uh, true solo playing all sides uh, of the game as well. So uh, the complexity of this is a 5 and the solo suitability is of course a 9. So let's crack it open and see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so this expansion does allow you to obviously play beyond the time period of the, the original game and its previous expansion. And it does include a solo card system that is only usable with this expansion in this scenario. So you can't use those solo cards with the, uh, the, previous, the previous game. All right, so here we go. So we start off with the playbook. Normal, excellent GMT quality, the matte finish. This one comes in at 36, 36 pages. Yeah, 36. And it's got a multiplayer example of play and a solitary example of play, so this, this is pretty really cool. cool. So a lot, of, a lot of color maps showing the condition, state of the game turns and then here's this solitaire example of play it's going to show you how to use those solitaire cards but you can see an example over here we'll look at them in a minute as well so in addition to this it's got some uh, it's got all the notes on the various uh, cards and the historical notes and uh, rules exceptions behind them Then we have the Taesun card-based non-player rules and reference booklet. This is the solo uh, guidelines. Uh, this comes in at 20 pages. Yep, there's the capabilities charts. So it's a 20-page book that tells you how to use the solo system. The overview, the components, a glossary, standout, sequence of play, How to select the space, uh, you know, if you're having to decide between multiple spaces, priorities table, so on and so forth. So it is the solo. When playing solitaire against Taesan, I'm, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, please forgive me. The player may only win during the final coup round in 75. Non player factions may win during the victory phase of any coup round. All right, so this is a non-player system that may be used to replace any player faction with a non-player faction. A deck of cards, several player aid tables, guide the decisions made by each non-player faction. Taesan was named in honor of three brothers from Taesan province. When, I'm not even gonna pronounce it. I'm sorry, I would do a disservice. In the late 18th century, the three brothers united Vietnam, defended the uh, invading Chinese army, and ruled for 25 years before being overthrown by the last imperial dynasty of Vietnam. When playing Fall of Saigon with any non-player faction, use this rulebook instead of Section 8 in the Fire and the Lake rules. So keep that handy if you're going to play solo. And these are the expansion rules. This is a very short, 12-page 12 12-page 12 book that just gives you the details for this expansion. The highlight changes, uh, use player aids, highlight, use the highlight, yellow highlight to change, to, I keep wanting to say highlight twice and I'm going to, to highlight changes from the main game. So it uses a highlight to highlight uh, and just call them out to you. Um, this booklet labels scenario exclusive rules as either extended or black April and game setups explained 9 to 12. Index on page nine, listen to five terms of new terms uh, for Fall of Saigon. So, your new rules for the scenario, new terms, setup, 
All scenarios in this expansion call for a Fall of Saigon mini deck. Extended scenarios prepare and add the mini deck to the remaining cards of the main deck after the Paris Peace Talks. Uh, the two player black cable, so you can just continue your game into this, which is cool. All right, so that's the 12 page scenario uh, expansion rules. And we've got some cardboard here. Oh, got the Fall of Saigon uh, posture board. It's blank on both sides, and a few counters here for peace, war weary, anti war. That just fell right out, too. It's GMT stuff punches really well. Got a square marker here for initiative track. And then some captured markers, destroyed markers that are also added. And then these are some Murata markers for the second edition. So LGB's airstrike, M48 pattern. So you want to shoot counters. Tokens. And then we've got some faction cards here. And there should be four of these, I believe, all identical. One, two, three, and four. So if we're running the Viet Cong, the Republic of Vietnam, the United States, and North Vietnam. These are the different um, commands that are available to the players or the non-players playing the game and describe in detail how to carry them out. Then we have the Taesan. Black April non-player aid card to help control the solo. This is obviously double double whip, full color. Got the uh, Republic of Vietnam, the North the North Vietnam non-player in this one. It's got their movement priorities. If you're using this to control those players. I assume then we have one for the other factions. All right, the extended scenario coup round. You get two copies of this. Paris Peace chart, flow chart. Extended scenario coup round. And we've got, what else we got here? We've got the non-player coup round instructions for if you're playing against with a non-player. AI. The event instructions here. Well, let's see what that. Oh, okay, hold on, let me start that over here. We got two, we got this is the non-player coup round instructions for four-player extended scenarios, 1972 Fire in the Lake, 1973 to 75 Fall of Saigon. So these are for the coup round if you're playing four seats. It says four-player. Companies really need to stop saying four-player when they mean four sides, four factions, so on and so forth, because if you're playing solo, you are one player playing four factions. If you're four players, you're four players playing the four factions, but the game is for four factions. So a little soapbox there. Uh, so this has the event instructions for USA over Yun, NVA, and the Viet Cong. And then this is, there's a special two-player Black April scenario, which is between the Arvin and the NVA, 1973-1975. So these are the non-player coup round instructions if you're playing the two faction game between the Arvin and the NVA. Then we have the extended non player aid card. This covers uh, all four factions. So let's go back now that we know Beta. Let's go back. And we now understand that the Black April non-player A card is for that two-faction Black April scenario. So this is the one you'd use for those two. That's why there's only the two nationalizers. There's going to be two cards, one for the other pair. But this one is the non-player A card for the four-faction game. It tells you what to do, movement priorities for the different factions, where they want to go, and how to handle the event cards for all four factions. All right, got a few more markers here. Some wooden bits. They're gonna be used in the game. Then we have cards. Let's take a look at those. Okay, so the one deck we have is the event cards that you're gonna just add for the last 
you know, add or play the scenario, the Fall of Saigon deck. This, uh, this one card here, this USBB, uh, USB card, uh, was, is a, I think an errata that gets added. It was just on the stack, and it doesn't say what it is. So you get one of these, but then you get the rest of them all have the Fall of Saigon logo. And there are 79 of those with the different, you know, events, how the corn games work, who the event applies to, what order, so and so forth. Good quality. Yeah, we've got the, oh, well, that's interesting. This may be a modification to the last expansion uh, for their solo AI cards. These are similar. This is USB, B, and B, and this, these are all marked USA for the, uh, uh, yeah, this is 64 to 72. So this replaces a previous solo card. And then this is for the Fall of Saigon. So here's the solo card deck for US. Arvin, depending on which faction is the non-player player. Non-player non faction is the best way to put it. And then um, got a US in retreat card as well. It's at the end. So you get uh, six cards for each, each faction and then one additional card for running the solo. I will mention, uh, if you're uh, if you're a fan of uh, Fire in the Lake, I do have, and, and you play solo. Uh, the board for Fire in the Lake is portrait, so it goes it goes out long, um, which you know could be hard to reach everything. And if you turn it sideways, then the uh, where you place the cards and the markers to determine who's who's going to take the action, which faction is going to you know work that card, um, turns sideways. So. Uh, on my blog, onceuponagame.com, there is a smaller sideboard that I created years ago, uh, and uh, Vocal saw it and, and liked it, actually. Um, so if, if you play solo, you can download that for free, print it, um, you know, mount it, and then uh, when you play, you can turn the board sideways um, so it's easier to reach everywhere over the map. And then, uh, then this little board just sits off to the side and allows you to do the same functions and, you know, and read them clearer. So I just found it was very helpful. So. If you pick up a copy of the Fall of Saigon 72 to 75 expansion for Fire in the Lake, all the stuff you get is the 25 solo AI non-player cards, non-player faction cards, a errata card, the 79 card event deck for the Fall of Saigon campaign, a bag of red and yellow discs and cubes, uh, and markers. Two play aids for running solo AI, an extended non-player aid card, and the Black April two-faction scenario player non-player aid card. You're going to get the non-player coup round instructions for the two-faction two Black April scenario, the four-faction scenario non-player coup round instructions, how to handle the coup round. Um, Two copies of the extended scenario coup around uh, flowchart instructions and the Paris peace rules. You're gonna get four operations guides, one for each player, but each one is identical and contains the instructions and operations for each faction in the game. You're gonna get one sheet of punch board, some extra counters, markers, and tracking charts, and they just fall right out. You're going to get the Fall of Saigon expansion rules and the Solo Bot rules and reference booklet and the example play playbook and all the card discussions. And that is everything that you get in the box for Fall of Saigon 1974 to 1975 from GMT Games. Mark Herman and Vocal Runke. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!